Everybody loves a good Disney secret, and today I've got 27 more for you. From free to highly exclusive, from coffee shop to the pools, and we even have a few that were sent in to me from a lifeguard currently on the wish. Number one, you can get a free character call when you book your cruise. Character calls are complimentary, pre-recorded phone calls from select Disney characters wishing you well on your sailing. They're a fun way to get the entire family excited about an approaching Disney cruise vacation. Once you've booked, just go into your reservations, request the call, you get to personalize it with a couple of details, and watch for an 800 number at the time you specify. Number two, 18 to 21 year olds can drink on the ship in Europe. The drinking age on board is 21. However, during round trip cruises, departing from any European country that has a lower drinking age, parents or guardians may sign a beverage consent form that allows their 18 to 20 year old to consume alcoholic beverages while in the adult's presence. And that is only in Europe. Number three, make sure you get a free coffee card. Just like any loyalty program, when you go pay for your coffee, ask them for a coffee card, they'll stamp it for you. I think it's after you have purchased five or six, you'll get a free one. And don't worry, you can go from cruise to cruise with them, they don't expire. Number four, they have a very exclusive Paolo cooking class on the Disney Fantasy. Paolo, be our chef. This is not necessarily an easy class to get into. It is one time per cruise, and it holds eight people. Apollo, be our chef. Rub elbows and aprons with our culinary wizards while concocting delicious dishes during this cooking class. Eat, drink, and prepare for an incredibly appetizing adventure only on the Disney Fantasy. Guests are in for a treat when they cook side by side with the gastronomical gurus of Apollo's kitchen. Savor an aromatic medley of flavors while learning to make several crowd-pleasing plates from the brunch menu including margarita pizza, butternut agnolotti ravioli, and Paolo's popular signature dessert, the limoncello tart. Feast on authentic antipasto and tomato mozzarella caprese salad, as well as your own tasty creations. Guests turned chefs will sample a selection of Italian wines, while Paolo's resident sommelier explains the intricate art of wine pairing. This class also comes with a personalized Paolo chef's jacket, apron, hat, and name tag, plus a keepsake menu, recipe cards, and photos with the chef as well as a surprise guest. Typically, this is only offered when the ship is in port. It's from an 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., limited to eight attendees, and is $279 per guest. Concierge will sometimes book up this class, so make sure and check if you're interested in it. Number five, if you don't get what you're wanting when you do your online check-in, keep checking. Things will often open up. Sometimes people have to cancel their cruises. Sometimes they just need to change their plans. Whatever it is, just keep checking. If for some reason you're unable to reserve your desired activity, just go straight to guest services as soon as you get on the ship and they can help you out. Not always, but most of the time. Number six, they have magnetic doors. These are useful for multiple reasons. A lot of people like to use magnets and decorate the door on the outside of their door. Looks really cute, helps you find your room at the end of the night. You also can bring magnetic hooks, put them on the inside of your stateroom door or even on the walls. They are magnetic as well. Magnetic hooks are great for holding up little shoes, bathing suits, hats, etc. Number seven, another thing that you will see once you are on the ship is stateroom doors with pocket organizers hanging next to them. This is something called fish extenders. People sign up on Facebook into the group for their specific sailing and they will sign up and kind of do a gift exchange, recipe exchanges, things like this once they're on the cruise. So when you see those pocket organizers, you know that's somebody within the group, but when you see them, now you know what they're for. Number eight, make sure you stay at port with a view of the ship. It's so amazing. You're gonna probably pay for a hotel room anyway. Spend a little bit more, get right up close to the port. That way when you get up in the morning, you can see the ship from your hotel room. It's so cool. Make sure you request a port view from the hotel as well. I would do that in advance. And when you arrive, that's just a lot of fun though. Number nine is Remy's Petites Des Seats. That's definitely not how you say it, but I think that's as close as I'm probably gonna get. Remy is the French inspired restaurant on the dream and the fantasy. This is only available on the first evening. The combination of a sophisticated adult-only setting, impeccable service, and elegant dishes developed by three Michelin-starred chef Arnaud Lalament and award-winning chef Scott Hunnell are unparalleled. This experience is designed to provide a taste of Remy, where adult guests travel throughout the restaurant to sample small plates of Remy's gourmet cuisine and fine wine. 
It is offered during the early evening hours on the first day of each cruise and is hosted by the executive chef who serves as an Epicurean guide for this six course culinary journey. Oh, and it's even got a little example of the menu following the first course of Blinis with Californian caviar and champagne in Remy's spectacular wine room. For the next four courses, guests move through the main dining room where they are presented with superb French inspired dishes from the restaurant's seasonal menu such as grilled salmon with smoked salmon cream and Kobe beef with turnip and potato gratin. This unique tasting opportunity concludes with a sophisticated dessert and the final wine pairing in the private chef's table dining room. I remember seeing that as approximately $79 per person. I would not be surprised if it does cost more now. Number 10, they have iPhone messaging. Obviously, you can use this on the ship, but you can also use this to message loved ones back at home. It's not something you need to sign up for. It's just iPhone to iPhone. Make sure you do have your correct airplane mode settings, etc., that you will need on the ship. And it's not something that they say is offered, so I don't know if they're going to keep having that accessibility or not, but when we went in October 2021, it was available. Number 11, and this is a lot of fun, teens have their own spa. At the Chill Spa, teens are invited to indulge in soothing beauty treatments created just for them. The Chill Spa is on the first four ships, designed exclusively for guests ages 13 through 17. This oasis is located inside the Census Spa and Salon. That's pretty fun. They have hair care, facials, massages, manicures, typical services. Number 12, you can now tip room service inside the Navigator app. The Navigator app that you're going to need on your phone. You'll use it for reservations, check-ins, Navigator will be on it with all the daily events. So you're going to use it a lot once you're on the ship. And you used to have to bring cash with you because most of room service is included in the cost of your cruise. But it's good to tip them a dollar or two per item or more. And now you can do that through the app, which is pretty convenient. There's also a place in there where you can see everything that's billed to your folio for that day. I like to keep an eye on that specifically for number 13, which is auto gratuities. Any drinks you get are gonna have automatic 18% auto gratuity, as well as any services in the spa, including the rainforest package. So it's good to know that those auto gratuities will happen and you can go verify them in your app. One other thing for tipping, number 14, from what I've heard, no other cruise line does this. They will bring you kind of a punch out card and envelopes on the last night of the cruise. This is gonna be for the tips for your service team. That's going to include your room host and your three servers at dinner. The breakdowns are in there. If you wanna prepay those, you can do that. If you wanna add more at the end, you can do that. They really do work for these tips and they seem minimal. The $13.50 per day broke out between all four of them. It's just not a lot. That is per person, but still, we like to add some cash in. Number 15, also about that navigator, is that it's on the TV as well. It's going to have all the events and activities for the day in your phone, but if you want to see it a little larger, it's also available on the TV. Last time we went, they did not have paper ones at all, so make sure you have that downloaded when you get to the ship. And it really is fun to download it before because it's got a countdown that's fun to watch. Number 16, one other thing we really like to have in the stateroom is a pop-up hamper. Throw that in your closet. When you're done with clothes, throw them in there. When it's full, throw them in another bag and pack them back up. And pro tip, if you use packing cubes, you can pack them when you get home, remove them from your suitcase, toss them in the drawer. It doesn't get much easier than that. Also, we like to unpack the first day we get there. That way it's already done, just makes the cruise a lot more fun. Number 17, you can get free cocktails. Specifically, seven night and longer cruises will have a formal night and they will have a captain's reception. This is before both seatings and they will have cocktails going around in the atrium. So go grab one or two. They used to also have free cocktails at the DVC presentations. They did not have those the last time I went, but you could check. And if you're a Castaway Key Gold member, then I'm sure you already know, any cruise that is eight nights or longer will have a gold reception for gold level Castaway Club members, and there will typically be some alcohol at that as well. Number 18, when you're going to the pools, you do not need towels. Not only do you not need them for the pool, you will not need them for your port excursions either. When you get off the ship, they have towels right there that you can take with you and you just make sure and bring them back with you. Throw them in the bin when you get back on. There are not a lot of cruise ships that do that, but Disney Cruise Line does. And over to the pools. This week, I received a message from Claire Marie McLaughlin, currently a lifeguard on the Disney Wish. And there's some tips in here that are really good. Number 19, the quietest time to swim slide is usually after five. This is when most people are getting ready for the evening activities. Lines for slides are pretty much non-existent after 5 p.m. 
We have found that to be the case with the hot tubs as well. If you go around 5 p.m., nobody there. We like to do late dining. It's really nice to just go visit the hot tub before dinner. That's gonna be a little different on the Wish because it only has one hot tub in general use spaces and that is in the adult section. And number 20, I never realized this, but I'm definitely gonna look when I get back on the ship so I know how they work. There are chair clips to keep your towels secured to your deck chairs. When you go out there, they typically have towels set up for you or they're gonna be rolled on the chair either way. Now you know, there's chair clips to help you out. Number 21, I'm gonna quote this exactly because it's a great tip. Pool socks and wet shoes are great and can be worn on most of the slides. Sliders, flip-flops, and Crocs cannot. But regardless, some form of footwear is needed as the deck does become super hot under the sun. Thank you so much, Claire Marie McLaughlin, for those tips. Really useful. And a couple more for another day, of course. Number 22. Yes, you can use that cool tiny human slide on the Disney Wish. It is only available to adults during open houses, though, so make sure you know when those are. And don't use it any other time. We don't want to lose our slide privileges. Number 23. If you want a cabana on Castaway Key, you better book concierge. Now that is not a rule, it's not a requirement, but it's almost always a fact. Cabanas are really hard to get on Castaway Key unless you have booked concierge. And sometimes it's even hard to get one if you've booked concierge. You've got to book right when it opens up. People will do it within a minute and sometimes miss them. So very high in demand. You almost always have to be concierge in order to get one. And that is not a guarantee you will. Number 24, they have a 5K on Castaway Key. From what I have heard, they are not doing the 5K again yet, but it is on Castaway Key. You would book it once you are already on the ship. It is a free run and you do get a medal at the end. I have seen that you can just go and run around on your own if you want. I would not be at all surprised though if it comes back really soon or if it's even back already. They have been going back to normal with a lot of things on Disney Cruise Line and I'm sure this is another one that's going to be here very soon if it isn't already. Why do you want to run a 5k on your vacation? Some people like to do it to stay in shape and some people really really love just to do the run Disney events. I think it also gets you out on the island a little bit earlier but you do have to run the 5k. A couple of other things for the teen. Number 25, if you want your teen to be able to get off the ship by themselves, you need to sign a release form. Even for Castaway Key, their private island, if you want them to be able to get off the ship, you've got to have that form. Obviously, they can get off the ship with you, but if you've got a teen that wants to go back and forth a little bit, good to just have that form in place. Number 26 is also teen specific. Vibe is very different from the magic and wonder to the Disney and fantasy and even to the wish. The magic and wonder is very old school, almost like hunting club appearance. The dream and fantasy is very tech driven. They've got a DJ space. They've got pods where people can play their own games. They've got their own pool. Very cool. Vibe on the wish. I'm not sure. I honestly think that a lot of teens would appreciate the fantasy and dream version more, but time will tell. There's not been a lot of teen reviews yet for the wish but very important to know that those vibes do differ from ship to ship and number 27 they will announce you as you board the ship you can tell them whatever name you want if you want to be teen peter pan that's just fine you can also just tell them your last name and they will say the disney ship welcomes the last name family it's just a lot of fun one other thing i didn't know is that concierge has their own elevator very very smart so I want to know, what secrets do you have? Let us know in the comments below. There's got to be another video at some point if you want us to put it in there. Just let us know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and do that subscribe bell thingy if you want. Just make sure you come back and we'll see you real soon with some more Disney's.